today we are going to discuss a very fresh topic that is aneuploidy and this topic is very important from the examination point of view because in many competitive examinations uh, questions are asked directly from this topic and if you know the concept you can easily answer the questions with confidence so let's get started what is aneuploidy aneuploidy occurs due to non disjunction of chromosome or due to addition or deletion of chromosome so what does it mean to understand this i have taken an example of human being so in human being in a normal human being 2r is equal to 46 chromosomes are present means the total number of chromosomes are 46 in aneuploidy what could happen i have written 2r is equal to 46 plus minus 1 means if there is a, a there is a addition of one chromosome the total number of chromosome would become 47 or if there is a deletion of one chromosome the total number of chromosome would become 45 so these two conditions will lead to aneuploidy now how aneuploidy occurs aneuploidy occurs due to error in meiosis 1 or error in meiosis 2 so first we will see due to error in meiosis 1 to understand this i have taken an example of a diploid cell having four pairs of chromosome so it's a nucleus containing four pairs of chromosomes i have drawn all four pairs of chromosomes in different shapes okay so this nucleus will undergo meiosis 1 and as we know meiosis 1 is a reductional division so half of the chromosome will go to one daughter cell or nucleus and the half of the chromosomes will go to the other daughter nucleus so since half is going so the number of chromosome would become half so i have demo demonstrated as n and n now in meiosis 2 it is just like mitosis so this daughter cell again divides into two daughter cells and this daughter cell will again divide into two daughter cell and the after meiosis 2 the daughter cells would have n number of chromosomes means we started with 2n and we ended with n now i have mentioned here that aneuploidy occurs due to error in meiosis 1 so this is a normal condition what would happen if there is an error in meiosis 1 so error in the sense that there is an unequal division of chromosome the separation of chromosomes are unequal it means that out of like uh, here out of four chromosomes two pairs of chromosome went to this daughter's nucleus and two pairs in this but in if meiosis 1 if there is an error in meiosis 1 so what will happen say this one went to this daughter cell and only one uh, pair of chromosome uh, is transferred to this one so what will i say this is n plus 1 and this is n minus 1 now in this case what will happen here one more chromosome will be added so we can make it as n plus 1 and n plus 1 and here we have to delete this one so n minus 1 and n minus 1 so if there is an error in meiosis 1 the end result would have four daughters with two daughter having n plus 1 number of chromosomes and two daughter Uh, nucleus having n minus 1 number of chromosome so this type of error or aneuploidy occurs due to error in meiosis 1 now we will consider due to error in meiosis 2 so again 
we will take a normal division so in normal division this is the result that is 2 is equal to 4 and n is equal to 2 we started with 2 and, and we ended with n now what happens if there is an error in masses 2 that is unequal division in masses 2 or unequal separation of chromosome in masses 2 so what would happen so in this case this is going to be like this and this and uh, this is an these are normal here the error is occurring in this case so this is going to be n plus 1 and this is going to be n minus 1 so if an error occurs due to masses 1 or masses 2 so the end result will have four daughter cells or no nucleus two nucleus containing n plus 1 and n minus 1 and two having n and n uh, number of chromosomes so we can summarize it as uh, here we can write it as due to error in masses 1 the end result will be n plus 1 n plus 1 n minus 1 and n minus 1 and due to error in masses 2 we have n plus 1 n minus 1 and n and n so this is the result now we will see the types of aneuploidy types of aneuploidy first is monosomic monosomic is represented as 2n is equal to 2n is minus 2n minus 1 it occurs due to the fusion of two gametes one is n and the second is n minus 1 second is nullisomic that is 2n minus 2 this condition occurs due to fusion of two gametes that is n minus 1 and n minus 1 third is trisomic that is addition of one chromosome 2n plus 1 so this occurs due to fusion of n and n plus 1 gametes fourth is tetrasomic so this is 2n plus 2 this occurs due to fusion of two gametes having n plus 1 and n plus 1 number of chromosomes the fifth is pentasomic it is 2n plus 3 and this occurs due to fusion of n plus 1 gamete and n plus 2 gamete and there is an assignment for you guys there is another condition 6 1 double monosomic that is 2n minus 1 minus 1 
and uh, fifth is seventh is double trisomic 2n plus 1 plus 1 so you have to tell what would be the gamut what would be the nature of gamut okay so these uh, questions are asked like uh, you are asked uh, what would be the you know and chromosome number in monosomic what would be the chromosome number in nullisomic what would be the number of chromosome in trisomic and so on so this is the concept of inequality and if you have understood so you can uh, easily answer any questions with confidence okay thanks for watching